Have you ever wondered what it truly takes to stay out of the hospital and live a vibrant, independent life after 70? In this video, we'll uncover the seven secrets to avoiding hospital visits after 70, helping you protect your health, maintain your energy, and keep doing the things you love without fear of setbacks. You'll discover actionable tips like how to optimize your nutrition, build strength, and improve your sleep, empowering you to take control of your health with confidence and ease. Stay with us until the end, because what you learn here could be the key to not only staying out of the hospital, but also enjoying a life filled with freedom and vitality. If you're not subscribed yet, I recommend subscribing and activating the notification bell so you never miss valuable lessons like these. Your support means the world to me. If you enjoy this video, please help us spread the message by liking and sharing. Now let's begin. Number one, master the art of zone two, cardio training. Picture this. It's a crisp morning, the sun is just beginning to rise, and you're stepping outside, feeling the rhythm of your breath and the gentle cadence of your footsteps. You're not out for a sprint, nor are you merely strolling. You're finding that sweet spot, that middle ground where your body is working. Not too hard, not too easy. Just enough to make your heart stronger, your mind clearer, and your life longer. This is Zone 2 cardio training, and it's not just exercise. It's an investment in your future self. Imagine waking up each day feeling strong and capable, moving through your routines without the stiffness or fatigue that can creep in with age. It's not just a dream. It's a reality that begins with a simple, steady practice. Zone 2. Cardio isn't about punishing your body or chasing impossible goals. It's about consistency, connection, and the freedom to live your life with dignity and vitality. So what exactly is Zone 2? It's that level of exertion where your heart and lungs are working just hard enough to build endurance and efficiency, but not so hard that you're gasping for air. A good rule of thumb is the talk test. You should be able to carry on a conversation without struggling, but you'll still notice your breath. This balance creates a unique environment for your body to thrive. It strengthens your heart, improves your metabolism, and enhances your body's ability to use fat as fuel, all without the wear and tear that high-intensity workouts can bring. Let's start with the actionable steps. First, decide on an activity you genuinely enjoy. It might be a brisk walk through your favorite park, cycling along quiet country roads, or even an easy jog on a treadmill while listening to your favorite podcast. The key is finding something sustainable, something that doesn't feel like a chore. After all, this is about creating a habit that integrates seamlessly into your life. Next, commit to a schedule. Start with three to four days a week, carving out 30 to 45 minutes each time. Think of this as a non-negotiable appointment with yourself, a gift to your body and mind. If you're new to this, begin at the lower end of the spectrum. Even 20 minutes can make a difference, and you can gradually build from there as your stamina improves. Remember, the goal is to create momentum, not perfection. As you settle into the rhythm, pay attention to your body. Are you working hard enough to feel your heart rate rise, but not so much that you feel wiped out afterward? Using a heart rate monitor can help you fine-tune your efforts. Aim for 60 to 70% of your maximum heart rate which you can estimate by subtracting your age from 220 and then multiplying by 0.6 and 0.7. For example, if you're 70 years old, your zone 2 range would be roughly 90, 105 beats per minute. But don't stress over the numbers. Listen to your body. The talk test often tells you all you need to know. And here's the magic of zone 2 cardio. It's not just about your heart. It's about your whole system. When you exercise at this level, your body adapts in ways that are profound and far-reaching. Your cells become more efficient at producing energy. Your mitochondria, the powerhouses of your cells, multiply and strengthen, and your metabolism becomes more resilient. Over time, this translates into better blood sugar control, improved cholesterol levels, and even a sharper mind. It's a cascade of benefits that ripple through your entire being. Let's talk about motivation, because staying consistent can be a challenge. Picture the long game, being able to play with your grandkids without getting tired, taking that dream vacation without worrying about your stamina, or simply walking into your kitchen to prepare a home-cooked meal without pain or struggle. 
These moments of freedom and joy are within your reach, and Zone 2 Cardio is the bridge that gets you there. To keep things fresh, mix up your routine. Alternate between different activities, perhaps a walk one day and a stationary bike session the next. Add some variety by exploring new trails or paths, or even joining a local group that shares your interest. The social aspect can be incredibly motivating and makes the journey more enjoyable. Finally, celebrate your progress. Each time you lace up your shoes and step out, you're choosing life, health, and vitality. Take pride in the fact that you're actively shaping a future where hospital visits become less likely and your independence remains firmly within your grasp. Every heartbeat, every step, every breath you take in Zone 2 is a step toward a longer, fuller life. So here's to you, the walker, the cyclist, the jogger, moving steadily, purposefully, and joyfully through life. This isn't just cardio. This is self-care, self-respect, and self-empowerment in motion. Keep going and know that every effort you make now is an investment in the incredible years ahead. You've got this. Number two, prioritize anti-inflammatory foods in every meal. Imagine sitting down to a meal that not only fills your belly, but nourishes every cell in your body, working quietly to keep you healthy and vibrant. Every bite you take can be a choice, a step toward reducing the aches and pains of inflammation, staving off chronic diseases, and living a life full of vitality. This is the power of prioritizing anti-inflammatory foods, a simple yet profound way to transform your health with every meal. But what does it mean to choose anti-inflammatory foods? It starts with an understanding of how our daily choices can either fan the flames of inflammation or help to cool them. Inflammation itself isn't inherently bad. It's your body's natural response to injury or infection. But when inflammation becomes chronic, simmering silently beneath the surface, it lays the groundwork for diseases like heart disease, arthritis, diabetes, and even Alzheimer's. The good news, your plate can become your shield. Let's start small. Picture your next meal. Maybe it's breakfast, with a simple bowl of oatmeal topped with fresh berries and a drizzle of honey. Berries like blueberries and strawberries are rich in antioxidants that combat oxidative stress, a key driver of inflammation. They're not just sweet and delicious. They're working behind the scenes to protect your cells and keep your brain sharp. Pair them with oatmeal, which contains beta-glucan, a fiber that helps reduce cholesterol levels and stabilizes blood sugar. It's a small step, but one that adds up over time. As you move through your day, think about the balance on your plate. A generous portion of vegetables is your starting point. Vivid greens like spinach or kale, vibrant reds like bell peppers or tomatoes, and deep purples like eggplant or beets. These colors aren't just for show. They represent phytonutrients, the plant compounds that fight inflammation and support your immune system. A simple rule, aim for at least three colors at every meal. It's like painting a masterpiece for your health, one vibrant hue at a time. And let's not forget the healthy fats. Drizzle your salad with extra virgin olive oil, a staple of the Mediterranean diet that has been shown to reduce inflammatory markers in the blood. Or enjoy a handful of walnuts as a snack. Their omega-3 fatty acids are powerful anti-inflammatories that also support heart and brain health. These aren't exotic, hard-to-find ingredients. They're accessible, affordable, and transformative. What about protein? This is where quality matters as much as quantity. Fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, or sardines are rich in omega-3s, which actively lower inflammation levels in the body. If you're not a fan of fish, consider plant-based options like lentils or chickpeas, which not only provide protein, but also fiber and essential nutrients. Even eggs, when sourced from pasture-raised hens, can be a good choice, offering anti-inflammatory nutrients like choline. Now let's talk about herbs and spices, the unsung heroes of anti-inflammatory eating. Turmeric, with its vibrant golden hue, contains curcumin, a compound celebrated for its powerful anti-inflammatory effects. Add a pinch of black pepper to enhance curcumin's absorption, and suddenly your curry or soup becomes a healing potion. Ginger, cinnamon, and garlic also deserve a spot in your kitchen. 
They're not just flavor enhancers, but inflammation fighters. Drinks play a role too. Instead of sugary sodas or processed beverages, opt for green tea, which is packed with catechins that reduce inflammation and support heart health. Or sip on a soothing cup of golden milk, a blend of turmeric, ginger, and warm almond milk. Every choice you make, even the ones you drink, can tip the scales toward better health. And let's be honest, prioritizing anti-inflammatory foods doesn't mean giving up all indulgences. It's about balance and intention. If you crave something sweet, choose dark chocolate with at least 70% cocoa, which offers antioxidants and satisfies your cravings without the inflammatory effects of refined sugar. Or bake a treat using almond flour and honey instead of processed ingredients. The most important step is simply beginning. Start with one meal a day. Maybe it's swapping your regular salad dressing for olive oil and lemon juice, or trading your morning pastry for whole grain toast with avocado. These small shifts done consistently create a ripple effect. Before you know it, your pantry and fridge will be stocked with the building blocks of a healthier, happier you. As you take these steps, remember this isn't just about avoiding illness. It's about building a life filled with energy, joy, and freedom. It's about waking up each day without the stiffness or fatigue that so many accept as inevitable. It's about enjoying your time with family, traveling, gardening, or simply savoring the quiet moments with a good book and a warm meal. These are the gifts you give yourself by choosing foods that love you back. So here's to the meals that heal, the spices that soothe, and the habits that protect. Each bite you take is an affirmation of life, a vote for longevity, and a celebration of the body that carries you through it all. Keep going. You're worth it. Number three, follow an annual kidney health check routine. It's easy to take your kidneys for granted, isn't it? They quietly work in the background, filtering your blood, balancing electrolytes, and supporting your body's overall health without making much fuss. But these small, bean-shaped organs are true unsung heroes of your body, until something goes wrong. That's why giving them the attention they deserve before issues arise can make all the difference. Following an annual kidney health check routine is a simple, proactive way to ensure these vital organs stay in peak condition, protecting your freedom to live fully and independently for years to come. Think of it this way. Your kidneys are like the diligent custodians of your body, clearing out waste, regulating hydration, and even helping control your blood pressure. Over time, however, Everyday habits, underlying health conditions, or even genetics can place a strain on them. Often, the signs of kidney trouble, like fatigue, swelling, or changes in urination, don't show up until significant damage has already occurred. That's the tricky part. But by catching potential issues early, you can address them before they turn into something more serious. So how do you get started? The first step is scheduling an annual kidney health check with your primary care doctor. During this check, there are two key tests you'll want to prioritize. The first is a simple blood test to measure your estimated glomerular filtration rate, or EGFR. This test shows how well your kidneys are filtering waste from your blood. A normal EGFR is typically 90 or higher, but even a slight decline can signal the need for closer monitoring. The second test is a urine analysis to check for albumin, a type of protein. Your kidneys are designed to keep protein in your blood where it belongs, so finding albumin in your urine can indicate early kidney damage. This test, often referred to as the albumin to creatinine ratio, ACR, is quick, painless, and highly informative. Together, these two tests provide a clear picture of your kidney health, giving you the information you need to take action if necessary. But it's not just about tests, it's about mindset. Making kidney health a priority is a gift you give to your future self. Think of it as an investment in your freedom to move through life with energy and independence. And if you're feeling a little nervous about the process, let's put it into perspective. These tests take just minutes to complete, but can save you years of stress and potential complications down the road. Once you've established this routine, it's time to think about the bigger picture. What can you do every day to protect your kidneys and keep them functioning at their best? The good news is that many of the habits you're already building, like eating anti-inflammatory foods and engaging in regular Zone 2 cardio, are also excellent for your kidneys. Staying hydrated is another cornerstone. Drinking water helps your kidneys flush out waste efficiently, 
but don't overdo it. Aim for about six tier eight glasses a day unless your doctor advises otherwise. And let thirst be your guide. Diet plays a huge role as well. Your kidneys thrive on balance, so keeping your sodium intake in check is critical. Processed foods, packaged snacks, and even restaurant meals can sneak in surprising amounts of salt, so opt for whole, home-cooked meals whenever possible. Incorporating potassium-rich foods like bananas, sweet potatoes, and spinach can also help maintain healthy blood pressure, which directly supports kidney function. However, if you have existing kidney concerns, your doctor may recommend a more tailored approach to potassium intake. So don't hesitate to ask questions and get personalized guidance. Another way to care for your kidneys is to manage your blood sugar levels, especially if you have diabetes or are at risk of developing it. High blood sugar can damage the delicate blood vessels in your kidneys over time, but maintaining stable levels through diet, exercise, and if necessary, medication can help prevent this. Similarly, keeping your blood pressure in a healthy range is essential. Even slightly elevated blood pressure can stress your kidneys, so regular checkups and monitoring are key. And let's not forget about medications. Over-the-counter pain relievers like ibuprofen or naproxen can strain your kidneys if used excessively or for long periods. While they can be helpful in moderation, it's worth discussing alternatives with your doctor especially if you find yourself reaching for them frequently. The beauty of following an annual kidney health check routine is that it empowers you to take control. It's not about fear or worry. It's about knowledge and action. Each time you check in with your kidneys, you're reinforcing your commitment to a life that's not just long, but full of energy, clarity, and purpose. You're making choices that keep you out of hospital waiting rooms and in the moments that matter most enjoying a morning walk, laughing with loved ones, or simply savoring the peace of a quiet evening. So, let this be your reminder. Your kidneys are worth the care. A simple appointment, a few tests, and a handful of healthy habits can make all the difference. This is your time, your health, and your life. Protect it, cherish it, and live it fully. Number four, maintain a twice-weekly strength training habit. Picture yourself reaching up to grab something from the top shelf or bending down to tie your shoes without a second thought. Imagine carrying a bag of groceries, holding your balance effortlessly, and feeling the strength in your arms and legs as you move through your day. These small moments of independence are easy to take for granted until they're gone. That's where strength training comes in. A twice-weekly habit that's about so much more than building muscle. It's a gateway to preserving your vitality protecting your mobility, and living with dignity as you age. Strength training doesn't have to mean lifting heavy weights or spending hours in a gym. It's about maintaining the functional strength that allows you to enjoy life on your term. Think about it. Every time you squat to pick up something from the floor or push yourself up from a chair, you're using the same muscles that strength training targets. By keeping those muscles strong, you're ensuring that these everyday movements remain effortless, no matter how many birthdays you've celebrated. So where do you start? Begin with the basics. If you're new to strength training, bodyweight exercises are a great entry point. Squats, push-ups, even modified ones on your knees or against a wall. And planks are simple, yet highly effective. These movements mimic the actions you perform daily, like standing, pushing, and stabilizing, making them practical and impactful. Aim for two sessions a week, focusing on just a handful of exercises that target all major muscle groups, your legs, core, back, and arms. For those ready to take it a step further, resistance bands are an excellent next step. These versatile tools add a layer of challenge without requiring heavy equipment or much space. You can use them to add resistance to bicep curls, shoulder presses, or seated rows. They're gentle on the joints, but tough on the muscles making them a perfect companion as you build strength at your own pace. And if you're comfortable using weights, start light. A pair of dumbbells or even household items like water bottles can be used for movements like deadlifts or chest presses. The key is to focus on form. Quality always trumps quantity. Lift with control, paying attention to how your body feels, and stop if anything doesn't feel right. Remember, strength training is about progress, not perfection. 
Consistency is where the magic happens. Twice a week might not sound like much, but is enough to make a profound difference over time. Each session should last around 20 to 30 minutes, a manageable commitment that can fit into even the busiest schedule. To keep it interesting, alternate between different exercises or gradually increase the resistance as your muscles adapt. This isn't about pushing yourself to exhaustion. It's about steady, sustainable improvement. And let's not overlook the benefits beyond physical strength. Strength training is like a ripple effect for your entire body. It supports bone density, reducing your risk of fractures and osteoporosis. It helps manage blood sugar levels, which is particularly important if you're at risk of diabetes. It even improves your balance, reducing the likelihood of falls, a major concern as we age. Plus, the endorphin rush you get from moving your body can uplift your mood and energize your day. If you're wondering how to stay motivated, think about what you're working toward. It's not just about looking strong, it's about feeling strong. It's about walking up a flight of stairs without needing to pause or carrying your grandchild without worrying about your back. It's about the freedom to move, to play, to live fully and independently. Keep that vision in your mind as you lace up your shoes and step into your workout space. It's your why, and it's powerful. To make this habit stick, pair it with something you already do. Maybe you strength train right after your morning coffee or while watching your favorite show. Lay out your equipment the night before as a visual cue to remind you of your commitment and celebrate every small victory along the way. Maybe you held a plank for five more seconds this week or added an extra repetition to your squats. Those wins, no matter how small they seem, are proof of your progress. Let's also address the fear of starting. It's natural to feel a little apprehensive if strength training is new to you. But remember, you're not alone. Everyone starts somewhere. And every small step you take is a step forward. If you're unsure about proper form, consider working with a trainer, even just for a session or two, to build your confidence. There are also countless online resources with tutorials and demonstrations to guide you. The important thing is to begin, because once you do, you'll wonder why you waited so long. Strength training isn't about achieving perfection. It's about showing up for yourself twice a week and saying, I choose to stay strong. I choose to keep moving. I choose me with every lift, every push, and every pull. You're building not just muscles, but a life filled with vitality, resilience, and possibility. You've got this, and your future self will thank you. Number five, adopt a medication audit every six months. Have you ever taken a moment to really think about the medication sitting in your cabinet? Maybe they're pills you've been on for years, a cream you barely remember why it was prescribed or something new that came with a list of side effects as long as your arm. Each one has a purpose, sure, but over time those purposes can change or even overlap in ways that create more problems than solutions. That's why adopting a medication audit every six months is one of the most empowering steps you can take for your health. Imagine the peace of mind that comes with knowing every medication you're taking is necessary, safe, and working in harmony with your body. No unnecessary risks, no lingering just-in-case prescriptions, and no worries about dangerous interactions. It's not about questioning your doctor's expertise. It's about being an active participant in your healthcare journey. And the best part? It's easier than you might think. Let's start with the why. Medications are powerful tools, but they aren't without risks. Over time, your body changes, and so do your health needs. A dose that worked perfectly five years ago might now be too strong or too weak. Maybe one medication was added to counteract the side effects of another. And now you're on a cascade of treatments for issues that might not even exist anymore. This is especially common as we age, when the sheer number of prescriptions can become overwhelming. And it's not just about pills. Supplements, over-the-counter medications, and herbal remedies all play a role too. Now, the how. A medication audit doesn't have to feel intimidating. The first step is simply to gather everything you're taking. Prescription bottles, vitamins, supplements, ointments, lay them all out on the table where you can see them. This is your starting point. 
a clear, honest look at what's entering your body every day. Write it all down in a list, including the dosage, frequency, and reason for taking it. This simple act of organizing can already make you feel more in control. Next, schedule a dedicated appointment with your primary care doctor or a pharmacist. A pharmacist, in particular, can be an incredible resource. They're trained to spot potential interactions, redundant treatments, and opportunities to simplify your regimen. Bring your list with you, and don't be afraid to ask questions. Is this medication still necessary? Are there safer or more effective alternatives? Could the dosage be adjusted? Is there a risk of interaction with anything else I'm taking? These conversations can open doors to a healthier, more streamlined approach. For example, let's say you've been taking a proton pump inhibitor, PPI, for acid reflux for years. It might have been life-changing at the time, but long-term use of PPIs can lead to side effects like nutrient deficiencies and even bone loss. During your audit, you and your doctor might decide it's time to taper off or explore lifestyle changes that make the medication unnecessary. Or perhaps you've been using a daily antihistamine for seasonal allergies. Your doctor might suggest switching to a non-daily option or incorporating an air purifier to reduce allergens at home, lessening your dependence on the medication. Another critical aspect of an audit is to identify potential duplications. It's surprisingly easy to end up taking two medications that do the same thing, especially if different doctors prescribe them at different times. Streamlining these redundancies not only reduces your pill count, but also minimizes your risk of side effects and interaction. And what about supplements? Many of us take them with the best intentions, but they're not always harmless. High doses of vitamins or herbal supplements can sometimes interfere with prescription medications or cause side effects of their own. During your audit, ask your doctor or pharmacist whether each supplement is truly necessary and whether it aligns with your health goals. For instance, if you're taking a calcium supplement to support bone health, but also eating a diet rich in dairy and leafy greens, you might be getting more calcium than you need, potentially leading to kidney stones. This process isn't just about removing medications. It's about fine-tuning. Maybe your doctor will suggest a lower dose of a blood pressure medication because your diet and exercise routine have improved your numbers. Or perhaps they'll recommend adding a probiotic to counteract the gut effects of a necessary antibiotic. Every adjustment brings you closer to a regimen that serves you, not the other way around. The beauty of a medication audit is that it's proactive. It's not waiting for a problem to arise. It's preventing the problem before it starts. And it's not just about adding years to your life. It's about adding life to your years. Fewer side effects mean more energy to spend with loved ones, pursue hobbies, or simply enjoy the small joys of daily living. A streamlined medication plan means fewer trips to the pharmacy, less confusion about what to take when, and more confidence in your health. So here's your challenge. Make it a date with yourself every six months. Just like scheduling a dentist appointment or changing the batteries in your smoke detector, put it on your calendar and commit. Your health is worth it, and so are you. With each audit, you're not just managing your medications, you're taking charge of your well-being, one thoughtful step at a time. Number six, integrate probiotic-rich foods for gut-brain health. Did you know that what happens in your gut can ripple through your entire body, influencing everything from your immune system to your mood and mental clarity? It's fascinating to think about, isn't it? This connection, often called the gut-brain axis, is one of the most profound ways our body communicates within itself. And at the heart of this intricate system are tiny, invisible allies, probiotics. These beneficial bacteria do more than just aid digestion. They're integral to your overall health and well-being. By integrating probiotic-rich foods into your diet, you're giving your body the tools it needs to thrive. Think of your gut as a bustling city with trillions of microorganisms working together to maintain balance. When this city runs smoothly, you feel good, not just physically, but emotionally too. But when the balance is disrupted by stress, illness, or poor diet, it can lead to inflammation, weakened immunity, and even mental fog. This is where probiotics come in. They're like skilled workers that restore order, repair damage, and keep everything functioning as it should. So how can you invite these beneficial bacteria into your life? 
Let's start with the simplest and most delicious way, food. Fermented foods are natural sources of probiotics, and they come in a variety of flavors and textures to suit any palate. Take yogurt, for example. A creamy, versatile staple that's as easy to enjoy with breakfast as it is as a snack. Look for unsweetened options with live and active cultures, and top it with a handful of fresh berries or a drizzle of honey for a gut-loving treat. Another star in the probiotic lineup is kefir, a tangy, drinkable dairy product similar to yogurt, but with a wider range of beneficial bacteria. Think of it as a supercharged option for those who want an extra boost. It's perfect for smoothies or even as a base for salad dressings. If dairy isn't your thing, don't worry. There are plenty of non-dairy alternatives like coconut yogurt or water kefir that offer similar benefits. But the world of probiotics doesn't stop at dairy. Fermented vegetables are another fantastic option, bringing both flavor and health to your plate. Sauerkraut and kimchi, for instance, are packed with probiotics and add a tangy, crunchy kick to your meals. Just a forkful on the side of your dish can make a big difference. For something milder, try pickles, but make sure they're naturally fermented, as many store-bought versions are simply pickled in vinegar and don't offer the same benefits. If you're feeling adventurous, miso and tempeh, both made from fermented soybeans, are excellent additions to soups, stir-fries, or grain bowls. These foods not only deliver probiotics, but also provide a dose of plant-based protein, making them a double win for your health. And let's not forget kombucha, the fizzy, tangy tea that has taken the health world by storm. It's a refreshing way to hydrate while introducing probiotics to your system. Just be mindful of added sugars. Choose brands with minimal ingredients to keep it as healthful as possible. Consistency is key when it comes to probiotics. Incorporating even one or two of these foods into your daily routine can make a noticeable impact over time. Start small, maybe a spoonful of sauerkraut with lunch or a glass of kefir with breakfast. As you get used to these flavors, you might find yourself naturally reaching for them more often. It's not about overhauling your diet overnight. It's about building a habit that feels sustainable and enjoyable. But why stop at just eating probiotic-rich foods? You can also support your gut bacteria by feeding them the nutrients they thrive on. These nutrients, known as prebiotics, act as food for probiotics, helping them flourish and do their job more effectively. Prebiotics are found in fiber-rich foods like bananas, onions, garlic, asparagus, and oats. By pairing these with your probiotic choices, you're creating an environment in your gut where beneficial bacteria can thrive, multiply, and support your overall health. For example, imagine starting your day with a smoothie made from kefir, a handful of spinach, a ripe banana, and a sprinkle of flax seeds. The kefir brings the probiotics, while the banana and flax seeds offer the prebiotics. This one small change in your morning routine sets the tone for a day of balance and vitality, nourishing both your gut and your brain. And speaking of the brain, the gut-brain connection is truly fascinating. Probiotics don't just work in isolation. They play a role in producing neurotransmitters like serotonin, often called the feel-good hormone. This means that by supporting your gut health, you're also promoting a more positive mood, better focus, and reduced stress. It's a beautiful example of how interconnected our body systems really are. If you're wondering how to tell if probiotics are working for you, pay attention to the signals your body gives. You might notice improved digestion, less bloating, or even clearer skin. Over time, you could experience better immunity and a steadier mood. But remember, everyone's microbiome is unique, so the journey may look a little different for each person. For those who prefer a more targeted approach, probiotic supplements can also be an option. However, it's important to choose wisely. Look for a high-quality product with multiple strains of bacteria and a guaranteed potency. Consulting with a healthcare professional can help you select one that aligns with your specific health goals. The beauty of integrating probiotics into your diet is that it's not just about preventing illness. It's about creating a foundation for long-term wellness. It's about giving your body the tools it needs to function at its best so you can enjoy the freedom and vitality that come with good health. Every bite of yogurt, every sip of kombucha, and every forkful of sauerkraut is a step toward a healthier, happier you. So as you think about your meals this week, ask yourself, 
How can I invite more probiotics onto my plate? Maybe it's trying a new recipe, picking up a jar of kimchi, or swapping your usual breakfast for a probiotic-packed smoothie. Whatever you choose, know that you're making a powerful investment in your health, one that supports not just your gut, but your mind, your mood, and your future. You've got this, and your body will thank you for every thoughtful choice you make. Number seven, practice sleep discipline with magnesium and melatonin. Imagine closing your eyes at night and effortlessly drifting into a deep, peaceful sleep. No tossing and turning, no midnight wake-ups, just uninterrupted rest that leaves you feeling refreshed and energized when the morning light breaks. It sounds like a dream, doesn't it? Yet for so many of us, restful sleep feels just out of reach. That's where practicing sleep discipline with the help of magnesium and melatonin can transform your nights and your days. Sleep is your body's ultimate reset button, a time when your cells repair, your brain processes memories, and your immune system recharges. But achieving that restorative sleep often requires more than simply going to bed at a reasonable hour. It's about creating a rhythm and environment that invites rest naturally. And here's the good news. With a little intention and the right tools, you can reclaim your nights and wake up feeling strong, capable, and ready to embrace each day. Let's start with magnesium. Think of it as nature's relaxer. This essential mineral plays a crucial role in calming the nervous system and preparing your body for sleep. When magnesium levels are optimal, your muscles relax, your stress levels decrease, and your mind quiets, paving the way for restful slumber. Foods like spinach, almonds, avocado, and dark chocolate are natural sources of magnesium, and including them in your diet is a great first step. But sometimes, dietary intake isn't quite enough, and that's where a high-quality magnesium supplement can make all the difference. If you're considering supplementation, magnesium glycinate is an excellent choice. It's gentle on the stomach and particularly effective for promoting relaxation and better sleep. Start with a small dose, around 200-400 milligrams, and take it about 30 minutes before bed. Pay attention to how your body responds, as everyone's needs are a little different. The goal isn't to knock yourself out, it's to help your body unwind naturally. Now let's talk about melatonin. While magnesium helps your body relax, melatonin is the hormone that tells your brain it's time to sleep. Think of it as your internal clock keeper, responding to cues like light and darkness to regulate your sleep-wake cycle. The trouble is, modern life often disrupts these natural signals. Bright screens, late night scrolling, and irregular schedules can throw off your melatonin production, leaving you wide awake when you want to be drifting off. The solution? Give your body the support it needs to reset. Start by minimizing exposure to blue light in the evenings. This means turning off devices or using blue light blocking glasses at least an hour before bed. Create a calming bedtime routine that signals to your brain that it's time to wind down. Maybe it's reading a book, taking a warm bath, or practicing gentle stretches. For those nights when your rhythm feels off, a small dose of melatonin can help. The key is to use it sparingly and strategically as a way to guide your body back to its natural cycle, rather than relying on it long term. Start with a low dose, such as 1 or 3 milligrams, about 30 minutes before bed. The idea is to mimic what your body would produce naturally, creating a gentle nudge towards sleepiness rather than a knockout effect. But supplements are only one part of the equation. True sleep discipline involves crafting an environment and routine that prioritize rest. Think about your bedroom. Does it feel like a sanctuary? Keep the space cool, dark, and quiet. Invest in blackout curtains or comfortable sleep masks to block out light. If noise is an issue, a white noise machine or soft background music can create a soothing atmosphere. Equally important is sticking to a consistent sleep schedule. Your body thrives on routine, and going to bed and waking up at the same times each day, even on weekends, helps regulate your internal clock. It might feel restrictive at first, but over time, this consistency will make falling asleep and waking up feel almost effortless. Hydration is another factor to consider, but timing matters. While it's important to stay hydrated throughout the day, try to limit fluids in the evening. 
to avoid middle-of-the-night wake-ups. Instead, focus on calming rituals, like sipping a cup of herbal tea an hour before bed, to signal to your body that it's time to relax. And finally, reflect on your mindset around sleep. Instead of seeing it as something you have to do, view it as a gift you're giving yourself. Sleep is the foundation for everything else you want to accomplish. Whether it's having the energy to exercise, the focus to be productive, or the resilience to handle stress. By committing to better sleep, you're investing in your well-being in the most profound way. So tonight, as you prepare for bed, take a moment to set the stage. Maybe you sprinkle some magnesium-rich spinach into your dinner, dim the lights an hour earlier, or take that first step toward a bedtime routine that feels calming and intentional. Each small action is a vote for your health, your energy, and your vitality. You deserve to wake up each day feeling strong and capable. And it all starts with the quality of your sleep. As we wrap up, take a moment to reflect on the power you hold to shape your health and well-being. Each of the strategies we've covered, from optimizing your gut health with probiotics to prioritizing restful sleep with magnesium and melatonin, are not just habits, but investments in your future. By incorporating these simple yet impactful changes, you're not only reducing the likelihood of hospital visits, but also creating a foundation for a life filled with energy, independence, and joy. Remember, it's never too late to take control of your health. Small, consistent actions lead to big, lasting changes. Whether it's adding fermented foods to your diet, committing to a strength training routine, or adopting a medication audit every six months, every step you take is a step toward greater vitality and freedom. And you don't have to do it all at once. Start with one strategy that resonates with you and build from there. Progress, not perfection, is what truly matters. If you found this video helpful, I encourage you to share it with someone who might benefit from these insights. And before you go, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on future content designed to empower your health journey. Now, if you're ready to take the next step, check out our video on five anti-inflammatory foods you should eat every day to boost your health. It's the perfect follow-up to this discussion, packed with actionable tips to further enhance your well-being. Click here to watch now, and let's continue this journey together. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.